Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, June, we're going to take a look and see you showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. There we go. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, you know, you can stick around as sometimes there could be messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards and I We'll uh, take them in and I'll be back. Grab that. One more. There we go. All right, so let me just take these in and I'll be back. So Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side, let me just make sure the mic's on. <laughs> take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up is this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and as you can see, there is a few extra cards which I have used to clarify the cards. And if this isn't your story, if you don't resonate with this, you can always just check out other readings which um, for the month, um, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak, guys. So just looking at the center card. So we're talking about, we got the, um, this kind of represents the state of the current connection, what you're dealing with ultimately. So it says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel like, you know, the main theme or why that message is important because of where you're standing and what you're going through at the moment when it comes to this connection. There is this, and this is in the past, just touching on the past. We've got the Six of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Swords, which talks about you wanting to move forward, but there is this emotional confusion that you have around the situation. It's like you're battling with incoming thoughts of negativity, ultimately, with that Five of Wands there. Negativity, and it's around this third energy. We've got the Three of Cups. So for me, that says that you're thinking that this person is and this might just be due to how they show up in the world, but you are kind of seeing this person as maybe indulging or engaging in third party activities. Not to say that they are, but that's what's coming up for you. It's like you're battling or thoughts are coming in of just suspicion, um, which is kind of making other thoughts cling to it, which causes you to start to think that this person might be maybe cheating on you, not being honest, you know, maybe dating others. And with that comes this emotional uh, confusion that you have. And that's causing this person to be trapped in their head because I feel like maybe you're expressing some of those thoughts as well to this person, but they're trapped. It's like it's causing them to just, you know, be up in their head, trapped. It's not a good feeling that they're, that they're having. You know, in, in fact, it's quite hurtful. I feel like this is due to maybe the accusations that you're projecting or you're giving this person or you're saying to this person. We do have that karma card there. So I feel like maybe on some level for some of them, it feels like, is this karma for, you know, past experiences that I've had? But I tell you something, this person has definitely developed a, a strong emotional connection to you, which they're wanting to act on. It's like I'm feeling this person. I have a strong emotional connection with this person. So I'm not sure why they think I'm engaging with others or there's maybe some rumors or maybe 
maybe that's where it's stemming from. Maybe you've heard something. Or maybe it's just your perception of this person. Maybe how they carry themselves, who they are. Maybe they're highly attractive. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. Now, while they're showing up as the 10, which talks about just kind of maybe taking certain, you know, enjoying this relationship, enjoying what they've found with you, uh, embracing where you both are at, or at least attempting to. You, on the other hand, Capricorn, it's like you're doing some behind the scenes investigation <laughs> and maybe some information has come to you about this person because there is this sneaky type of thinking here with the seven. You know, looking behind the scenes, trying to figure out, maybe stalking, you know, that type of thing. Again, we're going back to this feeling of them engaging in a third party situation. Snooping, checking phones, DMs, maybe, you know, trying to figure out someone's passwords, that type of thing. I'm not sure why though, and I'm going to explain that to you now, because with this person, it's like they have this sense or they have this awareness, we're going to say that, that you are doing what you're doing to some degree. They know that, you know, they you do have suspicions or you don't trust them fully, but they're trying to kind of combat that. They're trying to stay on top of this situation where it doesn't get out of control to the point where there is a breakup or there's a separation or it just leads to something that it shouldn't shouldn't really lead to however however with that it is causing them to kind of pull back on their emotions be cautious emotionally with you you know it's like where before they developed this a, this strong emotional connection with you with these accusations naturally they're starting to just be cautious be cautious of opening up to you be cautious of feeling vulnerable emotionally with you you know that 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 kind of happens uh, in relationships especially if there's a lack of trust there and someone's not in, you know engaging or participating in what you think they are which i feel this person is not so you know hence the stay optimistic about your love life you know positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. But I feel like this is definitely stemming from, like I said, I'm going back to this five of wands, which is really important. It's this incoming thoughts of, you know, we're just bombarded with negative thoughts about something, but it's stemming from something. Maybe this person is triggering things within you that has that is causing you to think of, Things in the past that you've been through with others, where there was cheating or where there was fidelity, is that type of thing. Yeah. You are wanting to end this, though, which you feel is going to give you some form of relief. Which, and I'm hesitating at, 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 at seeing those cards, simply because I'm going to pull on that six there. Okay, so you do want things to work out. Okay, so luckily I did pull on that, that six there. So yeah, you do want things to work out with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles talks about teamwork, collaboration, coming together, relationship, you know, action. Um, so you do want victory. You do want success when it comes to that. But there is this thinking of ending something. Let me pull on that. Because I'm hoping it's ending to the thoughts that are coming up for you. The Justice card. I've got King of Swords. And then we have the uh, Tower. You wanted things, you wanted justice. You wanted to be able to think in a mature way. And you wanted to. We've got that Tower card. Ah. You think, yeah, there is this thinking about ending this you know yes you're aware that things can crumble and it's going to cause disruption to you know once you've ended this but you think that it's going to come you know it's like justice it's like i'm not going to stay here but it's it's coming out of it's not coming from this person 
the ideas of them cheating and stuff. That's not what they're doing at all. At all. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that. There's nothing that indicates that they are engaging in that. But everything indicates that it's thoughts that are coming up for you that are not really reflective of the reality of what the situation is really displaying. And this person just having the Queen of Cups is wanting to have this level of emotional maturity around this empathy, understanding, patience, still having hope that although things are not perfect as it stands, as it is, you know, I still have hope that this can turn into something, that this can be something. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about focusing on work, putting work into something. So this person is being patient. This person is patient, being patient. For how long? We don't know. The, the most important thing when it comes to this Capricorn is you looking at what's causing you to run away with the idea that this person could be cheating, this person is not to be trusted, this person is disloyal, because you're projecting it and it's affecting this relationship. And it's more about past, I feel like it's to do with past experiences that you've had, which is triggering old feelings and thoughts that are coming up for you. So, so let's journal, let's get your thoughts down, let's turn that around, let's script. And when I say script, I mean, you know, write something out, in a way that is beneficial to you, if that makes sense. So for instance, if I want in to feel a certain way within a relationship, it's like, what does that feel right now? What does that feel like now? What, it, what, what, what does it look like for me to be fulfilled within a relationship? What does that mean to me? And then write down where you're at at the moment based on that vision, based on that desire. So at the moment I feel insecure, at the moment I feel, you know, negative, you know, whatever about this situation. And then work on how do I put that work on moving yourself out of that place emotionally and mentally to that point of the desire where you have what it is that you want it's it's about doing the work the internal work ultimately ultimately so I'm going back to the center card stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and the faith will bring you romance so this is much more about your thinking and, and what's coming up for you than what is actually going on within this relationship so usually we move into part two of the reading where we kind of get an idea and see what comes next what happens next i will be implementing that in the next few weeks weeks guys so look out for that but as it stands hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye